Here at the windmill garden, we have alkaline soils. You can see all that limestone right there. We also have a lot of clay. The alkaline, high pH soil can cause iron chlorosis in my trees. In the past, I've noticed iron chlorosis mainly affecting the fruit trees and especially the apple and pear trees. Because of the high pH, sometimes the plants aren't able to take up iron. This condition will show in the tips, in the new leaves. I think this plum is just starting to show the first signs of an iron deficiency. See how yellow that new leaf is, the green veins. This leaf is almost white, yellow white. You can see the green veins in it. You can see it in this horseradish. See yellow leaves with green veins. This one's almost white. This is the best product I've found to treat iron chlorosis. EDHA iron chelate 6%. So I'm going to treat my trees today and this horseradish. Here's the application rate for trees. Apply one to four tablespoons per tree for each inch of trunk diameter. I'm going to give each tree two tablespoons mixed in five gallons of water. I haven't noticed iron deficiencies in the plants that are in the raised beds. I think that's because of all the organic material I brought in. The place I notice it is in the trees that are grown in the native soil here. Recommended for use on calcareous soils or soils with pH above seven. Some common names for problematic soils are caliche, adobe clay, clay silt, or alkaline soil. This is the geology that causes the high pH alkaline soils. The top layer, Fort Hayes limestone. It's a white chalky limestone. Just under that, there's a marine sandstone, about six, seven feet thick. And the layer underneath that is Blue Hills clay. That's what the garden is in. Fort Hayes limestone. Here's a better look at the sandstone layer. Blue Hills Clay. Plants use iron in chlorophyll production. Most soils have adequate iron. However, high pH locks the iron up. And plants can't access it. If your soils are alkaline and you see signs of iron deficiencies in your plants or trees, Chelated iron can act quickly to correct the problem. Be sure to get EDDHA chelated iron. This is the formula that works in alkaline, high pH soils. 
This is a temporary fix. It'll keep trees and plants healthy for one season, but will have to be reapplied. The long-term fix is to lower the soil's pH. This can be done with organic materials, mulches, manures, but it's gonna take time. Elemental sulfur can also help. Thanks for visiting the windmill garden. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff.